Hey, how y'all doing? It's Jalon Miguel Kendrick from College Park, Georgia. And today, uh, it's another episode of Notes to My Younger Self, but I asked Instagram to give me some questions and so that I can answer. And I kind of like vetted through them. And the one that I thought was the best was, um, um, let's see. Someone asked, how's your experience in Kuwait so far? And what do you like most about it? Um, and my experience in Kuwait so far uh, has been up and down. It's been good days, it's been bad days, it's been hills and valleys, I can't even lie. Um, it's it's a different culture. Uh, the people here, are, you know, you have, just like anywhere, some nice, some a tad bit rude. Um, but uh, uh just learning new things is always fun it's always like this learning curve that you have to experience that goes through hills and valleys um you know there's a lot of the extracurricular activities that's obviously legal in a lot of other countries that aren't legal here even little things like large gatherings for like social gatherings to like listen to music and and, and dance and stuff like that like that's not allowed here um uh, so that's drastically different than anything I've I've ever experienced. Uh, but the thing I do enjoy about Kuwait um, is the food here. The food here is freaking amazing. They have dishes from pretty much everywhere. I mean, you can find Cheesecake Factory, Cane's, Jollibee. Oh my God, Jollibee. It's amazing. Um, KFC. Um, P.F. Chang's, Benihana's, and those are just some kind of like American restaurants that I didn't expect to be out here. But then they have their own restaurants like Habra, um, Oak and Smoke, Ooh, the best beef ribs I've ever had in my life, the best brisket I've ever had in my life. I took my teammate Des to get take like taste their brisket. He's not even a brisket guy, and he was like, "Bro, like I'm." on this brisket we go like once a week it's insane sometimes i squeeze in twice a week the food here is second to none i found like some stats here uh from one of my teammates and he and i'm quoting him and he said that behind america this is the second country that consumes the most meat so sorry to the vegetarians out here they do consume a lot of meat out here in kuwait um only second behind america now the crazy thing about that is Kuwait is small. Like you can drive from top to bottom in three hours. There's states that's bigger than Kuwait. So for them to be consuming this much meat, it's insane. And I think also in saying that they're like top five in obesity for a culture as well. So you keep that in mind. But the food here is top tier. It's amazing. Uh, and you know, there's some hidden gems because since you can't uh, do some of the extracurricular activities that you would normally do in America, you have to find other things to kind of like keep your morale up. And you have to find them in ways that you, that may be non-traditional. You know, whereas you used to go out with your friends to party, now you're going out with friends to drink tea or play cards or walk, walk a dog, um, meditate, read, like, you know start on that passive income business that you you know you've been putting to the side for so long like this country borderline like forces you to find uh you know things to do silver lining and things and 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 that's one thing that at first i was unappreciative about but now i appreciate about it because it's teaching me self-discipline it's teaching me how to be patient with myself and it's teaching me a lot of other things that i think um uh, is you know very helpful for my, for my growth and development so you know like i said kuwait has its ups has its downs um is, is mountains and valleys for sure but uh i've been appreciating the process um for its good and its bad so that's what i think about kuwait so far and um yeah if you're a player here if you come out here uh and you got any questions to ask me all right peace